Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end Monday. It was a quiet day on Wall Street ahead of a busy week for earnings and economic data. The S&P 500 and Dow closed slightly higher, while the Nasdaq 100 dropped a quarter of a percent and the small cap Russell 2000 also finished marginally lower. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day, six of the 11 S&P 500 sectors closed higher, led by energy as oil rose above $78 a barrel. Materials and healthcare were also up over half a percent. And to the downside, tech and real estate were the worst performers. Looking at some stocks on the move, Medtronic rose over 4.5% after the FDA approved the company's insulin pump. The pump has been available in Europe for three years and took two years to get approval in the U.S. After the announcement, analysts from Wells Fargo and Barclays raised their price targets and maintained buy ratings on the stock. Shares of Fox fell 3% after the company's flagship station, Fox News, announced the departure of Tucker Carlson. The move comes following Fox's $787.5 million settlement with Dominion Voting Systems. Carlson had the network's top-rated primetime slot, averaging more than 3 million viewers per night. And Micron shares dropped 2.6% after the U.S. asked South Korea to resist filling orders if China bans Micron chips. The story comes as relations between the United States and China continue to deteriorate and after the U.S. has announced restrictions on exporting chips to China. Let's look at what to watch for tomorrow. It's a jam-packed calendar. Case Schiller and FHFA home price indexes are released at 9 a.m. Eastern. Consumer confidence and new home sales are out at 10 a.m. And then on the earnings front, we have GE, GM, UPS, McDonald's, PepsiCo, and Pulte Group reporting pre-market. And then post-market, Alphabet, Microsoft, Visa, Chipotle, and Texas Instruments are released. That'll do it for the wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to TDAmeritradeNetwork.com.